just to uh, confirm, the New Zealand police uh, head of uh, police did say one man has been charged with murder. He didn't give the name. He said he was in his late 20s. But this main suspect is being widely named as Brenton Tarrant, a 28-year-old from Australia. And it's believed that he is the one who live-streamed himself opening fire uh, at uh, one of the mosques in Christchurch. He'd also posted a manifesto online expressing extreme white supremacist views uh, and question marks were raised uh, to the commissioner about this individual. Uh, the response was that at the point at which he posted that manifesto and ran that live stream, that was the point at which they became aware of him. Uh, well, let's talk now to our correspondent, Phil Mercer, who's following developments from Sydney in Australia. And uh, Phil, the police commissioner in New Zealand saying that police there would be looking to see if they had missed any opportunities to prevent this, given that this suspect is Australian. Uh, Australian police also will be doing the same, presumably. Well, that's right. Both security services here in Australia and across the Tasman Sea in New Zealand say that this 28-year-old suspect was not on their radar, that they had uh, no knowledge of him before today's terrible events in the city of Christchurch. There will be a forensic investigation to determine whether mistakes were made or whether clues were missed. But uh, you'd have to say that uh, uh, tracking everybody uh, with uh, extremist sympathies uh, in countries like Australia and New Zealand would be uh, an enormous, in fact, probably an impossible task for the authorities. But what they'll be doing, they'll be looking to see if they can learn from this to perhaps to see if these sorts of things, these sorts of people can be caught in the future. But of course, this will be an enormous investigation. And this man, 28 years of age, we understand, has been charged with murder and he's due in court in uh, Christchurch on Saturday morning. Bill, I guess they know already they're going to be under intense uh, scrutiny, aren't they, in terms of what they did and didn't know. And they've already said that they'll work closely with uh, New Zealand's authorities. What, what exactly can they do? Well, Australian police and Australia's intelligence services have had uh, a pretty long history in recent years of uh, carrying out counter-terrorism raids and thwarting, we understand, quite a few potential attacks on targets here in Australia. So that wealth of knowledge, you'd imagine, would be uh, very useful to the authorities in New Zealand. And uh, New Zealand, of course, has never experienced anything like this. The city of Christchurch endured that terrible earthquake in 2011 that killed 185 people. The city is still recovering from that. But of course, today's trauma is very, very different. And I think it's safe to say that uh, the blood that has been spilt in New Zealand today could probably change the country for good uh, forever. And uh, that's certainly the fear for many New Zealanders. They will be in utter shock at the events that have unfolded in the city of Christchurch today. Uh, and Phil, is anything more known at this stage about the suspect that has been uh, widely reported to the name uh, as Brenton Tarrant, you know, for example, um, how long he'd been in New Zealand? No, we don't know. We do know that uh, he's published uh, a manifesto online that uh, has all sorts of ramblings uh, regarding white supremacism and uh, anti-immigration sentiment. And uh, we do know, too, that three other people remain in custody, yeah. two men and a woman. Investigators in New well, Zealand say they're not sure if any of those suspects ooh. were involved in the terrible events at those two mosques in Christchurch today. What we do is. know is 49 people have died and that 20 yeah, people who, who, are seriously ill and uh, they're in hospital. The main oh, hospital no, in Christchurch has long, had man. a dozen operating theatres in use yep tonight because yeah, of the number of casualties taken there and because of the severity of their injuries. Phil, thanks very much indeed. Phil Mercer, who's in Sydney, uh, keeping across the, uh, obviously, the very strong Australian connection now to the attacks in Christchurch. I just want to bring you right up to date on what we know has happened there. There have been attacks, gun attacks on two mosques on either side of the town.
Uh, they are in the, this is Christchurch in the South Island in New Zealand. And if we just zoom in close, we'll get a sense as to the distance between these two mosques, which raises questions itself as to who was where at the time these attacks took place. But the Al Nur Mosque and Linwood Mosque were both attacked. Uh, there was also a lot of shooting outside the Al Nur Mosque. We know that as well. The upshot of which. Uh, we know 49 people have been killed and there are a good number who are still uh, suffering from serious gunshot wounds and we wait for an update uh, on the condition of many of those. It is uh, obviously a situation that happened around about lunchtime, Christchurch time, led to a lockdown of the city. Uh, schools were shut down as well. Children couldn't get home until uh, at least tea time. So very anxious times for everyone across the city. And you can imagine the sort of sense of shock that residents in Christchurch have been expressing. Yes, absolutely. They have, of course, been expressing that shock and dismay over the incident. It hurts just breaking for them. It's just so sad that it shouldn't happen in our country. They should be safe to pray. I'm getting angrier. I was gone from shock and now I'm getting angry and very indignant. We, you know, they should, everyone should feel safe to pray however they want. It's, it's unbelievable. In our city, it's unbelievable. We need to be embracing of each other. We need to be just reaching out, checking on our neighbours, whether they're foreign or not to us. We need to be reaching out to each other. There's no tolerance for this in our society. It's been widely reported that the uh, suspect, the main suspect uh, who has been charged with murder is 28-year-old uh, Brenton uh, Tarrant. He had apparently uh, published something which he called a manifesto, which was full of uh, anti-Muslim and anti-immigrant uh, sentiment. He uh, entered the Al Noor Mosque, we understand, it's alleged, uh, uh, dressed in military-type clothing, but um, we don't know if the same suspect was also at the other mosque, the Linwood Mosque. The police have not uh, clarified that. Um, they say that three other people were apprehended. They say at least one of those, they believe, had nothing to do with these uh, terror attacks, but they are working to understand, is the phrase they have used, uh, what connection, if any, the other two people apprehended had with those attacks. Yeah. They say at least one of That's what they say. <laughs> what a bunch of shit.